Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out how to create this globe pattern in Illustrator. So in this case, we're going to use patterns. We're going to use uh, the 3D settings in Illustrator. Unfortunately, we cannot use the pattern settings because we cannot apply the pattern effect on the 3D effect. So we're going to make it like more manually. If you can like other options, just leave a comment down below so we can review that. So let's do this. All right, so first step, make sure that you're on a field. Click on the field. I'm going to select a color for it. I'm going to go with the blue and I'm going to select from here the rectangle. Press and hold shift plus alt, create a rectangle angle and from here I'm gonna press control C and then control F or you can go to edit paste in front now I'm gonna select the pen tool and click on this anchor point so it's gonna delete it now we're left with a triangle and I'm gonna recolor this triangle I might go with pink select both I'm gonna press and hold alt and drag it to the right also press shift to isolate it until they intersect here. And now I'm gonna change the colors of these. Okay, so I'm gonna try out this combination. I'm gonna select both, right click and group. I'm gonna put it here, scale it down a little, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift to isolate until they intersect here and then press control D until you create a lot of copies, select all, press and hold alt, drag it down and you're gonna shift to the right until they're going to intersect like this. Select all, right click, group, press and hold all, drag it down, press also shift until they intersect here, press control D to multiply. I'm going to select the direct section tool and select these areas, press delete, delete again to delete all the anchor points, delete, delete. Select all, right click, group. Now go to the symbols, this is the symbols, if you don't have it go to windows and select the symbols and just drag the pattern into the symbols. You can rename it, click OK. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna select a light gray color. I'm gonna select the ellipse tool, the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. Select the direct selection tool, delete this anchor point on the right and press on delete. There you go. Go to the pathfinder and select unite so the anchor point is going to connect here. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. From here, we're going to make this 3D. So we're going to go to the Effects, 3D and Materials, 3D Classics and Revolve Classic. Now we're going to choose a right edge. So now we're seeing the globe. And now I'm going to go to the Map Art. I'm going to select Invisible Geometry and I'm going to go here to the None and select the pattern that I just created. I'm going to click Scale to Fit and now it fits perfectly. Click OK, click OK again and from here I'm going to click on Object, Expand and this is how we create this pattern and globe in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.